Oh my god, oh my god, come on, let's go. There's no time. Oh my god, where was it? Go. Okay. Oh, yes. Wait a second. And I wanted to come here and run. But there's a freaking. That's okay, it makes complete sense to have a race in the middle of Sunday and like one of the only open tracks in the city. It's okay, I'm just gonna go to another track. We'll be back in a second. Ta da! Oh, okay, much better. Look how empty this place is. Okay, and welcome to the track. Oh, so excited. Okay, today's workout is a two mile warm up, followed by four by mile at tempo pace, followed by four by 400 meters at about 5k pace, and then maybe I'll do some 200s and then a two mile cool down. You might be wondering, Jake, what the hell is tempo pace? So basically, it's a comfortably hard, sort of maintainable pace. A few mental keys it's the pace you could race for about an hour. If you're running with somebody, you couldn't have a conversation with them, but you could have like little gasping breaths here and there. For that, it shouldn't be tremendously difficult. It shouldn't be tremendously easy. You should be kind of looking forward to it being over. Like that's so that's the kind of the intensity, the pace. If you want to put a number to it, 80% intensity ish trouble duel the physiology behind it i'll put a little graph right here but basically when you start running you start producing lactic acid and normally your body's like oh cool i can clear that no big deal you run it clears the lactic acid right 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 so that continues you can produce more blood lactate but your body still clears it but at a certain pace at a certain intensity specifically a certain amount of lactic acid about four millimoles uh, your body cannot clear it and that's where it becomes anaerobic so a tempo or a threshold run is you run right at that threshold of where it's aerobic into anaerobic, like right there. And the idea is that you train at that intensity for maybe 20 minutes twice a week, and then over time, you gradually push that curve a little bit over to the right. So for me today, I wanna try and hit six minute per mile pace as my threshold, and by the time the marathon comes around, that needs to be around 540. So today, 80% intensity might be six minute mile. In six months, 80% intensity will be a 540 mile. But you have to be really studious about these. You don't want to race these. Um, it's like super common. People like take them out too hard and you kind of miss the training effect. Because if you go too hard, then you miss that little window and you're not training as efficiently as you could be. So it's just about time. But before we begin, something I've been looking forward to for a long time. <sighs> Swing. These things are so lightweight. They're like little bitty slippers. They're awesome. <laughs> Just doing some dynamic stretching. I'll cover it in a later video. <sighs> okay, it's about that time. First one, I'm feeling good. I got my tech now. Yeah. Feel good, about six or seven pace. It's a little slower, but yeah, just kind of warming up. Feel good, feel solid, feel smooth. Nice and, uh, nice and chill, relatively. Three more miles. One minute rest between each mile. Not a lot of rest, but the point of the workout is to stay up in that zone, so. Five to five for the second mile, so a little quicker. Feeling good, starting to warm up a bit. So humid, man, like, oh, just, my body refuses to stop sweating. For a little bit of a change tomorrow. 603 mile, not too bad, right? Kind of on pace. Still sweating profusely here. Uh, one more mile to go. You guys want to come with? All right, last mile. All right. That begins at six o'clock in the morning. I hope the wind isn't too bad, but. So, this is more or less tempo pace. Not easy to talk. Not hard to talk. All right, one minute, 30 seconds exactly. Right on the money for a six minute mile. That's four laps for one mile, 1600 meters, free metric volt. Three minutes, 800 meters, two more laps. Thirty-one. 
90 more seconds to go. Shelves behind it and a few pockets of low pressure and a fairly heavy band of rain showers and snow all the way from the eastern portions of Montana down to western sections of Nevada. Six so flat. Thoroughly happy with that. So for those of you who are experienced runners, you guys know that's not like a miraculous workout, um, nor is it necessarily a miraculous performance. But that's like a huge chunk of marathon training. It's just doing the, those threshold runs, those tempo runs. The reason is, is that your body has to get used to running faster than marathon pace. The idea is that you go over and under your pace. So you go quicker than your pace so that your legs, when they slow down to marathon speed, it doesn't feel fast for them. It feels relatively comfortable. And then you do slower than your marathon pace, like long runs and stuff, to get the aerobic adaptations. It's more or less the same for any running race. If you train above and you train under, and of course you train at your race pace, but you need to train. You need to kind of sandwich it a little bit. And I haven't done. I haven't done a straight up tempo workout in a long time, so it makes me feel good. It'd be really cool if I could get my tempo pace down to like maybe even like 5:20 by the time the race comes around. I might be able to dip pretty far under five or 2:40 which would be nice. So now I'm doing some 5k repeats. So these quarters, these 400s, are gonna be at about 5k pace, which means about 75 seconds per 400 meters per quarter. Uh, I'm taking a huge break in between now, so full recovery. So the main purpose of this is to work on running efficiency. Um, I actually got this idea from another YouTuber, uh, VO2 Max Productions. If you guys are watching this channel, you probably have heard of him before. Love that guy, love his channel. Sage, if you ever see this, what's up? Thanks for putting out awesome content. But yeah, so running so running efficiency, running economy, just to get used to like really moving at different speeds, different velocities. So kind of what I was just talking about, about running faster than your normal pace. So yeah, you could think of this as like almost like muscle training, lower body training in a way. Say these kind of repeats, so 5K, 5K pace repeats, hill repeats uh, going up a steep incline full out full tilt and then uh, maybe some 200s which i'm probably gonna do today are like pretty much bread and butter like strength leg strength stuff that you'd want to think about for the marathon not talking about weight training or anything like that but so i'm just doing this so i feel comfortable running at a quicker pace to get some muscle training in and then work on my running economy a little bit so i'm doing four by 400. Like 72 seconds too quick. Oh well, three more to go. <sighs> Better, like 82 seconds. Felt uh, much more controlled. So if you guys are doing this work at a home, it's uh, it should be right about your 5K pace. It, sh it should be fast but controlled. You shouldn't go anaerobic. You should be able to do it off of like two minutes rest right about. So the, and, the, and the purpose of this is to just kind of train your legs, train your musculoskeletal system. There's not necessarily a cardiovascular benefit from it. And totally for me, like the day or two after these workouts, I always notice my legs just feel a lot more fluid, but then also a lot more, the stride feels a lot more like proper. Like my, I, have, I have good knee lift, nice pop off the ground. Totally anecdotal. I'll look, I'll look into research on running economy. If there is anything, I'll put it right here. But from what I've looked at in the past, it's pretty much like the more time you spend at a certain pace, the more economical you get at it, which makes complete sense. But um, but yeah, I like this workout a lot. It's really nice. Cool, just did my last two at 75 seconds. So right about what I wanted to be at. And I'm gonna change the workout a little bit. I was gonna do four by 200, but I just decided I wanna run really fast. So I'm gonna do two by 200 and I'm gonna try to blow the doors off, which for me is not terribly quick by a miler standpoint. I'm gonna try for 30 seconds, take a break, and then try and dip under 30 seconds for 200 meters. Try and get all the way over there in 30 seconds. Twenty nine seconds. <laughs> cool. I'm happy with that. That's nice, it makes me feel nice and chippery. <laughs> I haven't run quick in a while. All right, so for the last one, maybe I can get down to like 27? I don't know, we shall see. <laughs> 29 seconds again. <laughs> 
cool. I'm happy with that. So 200s are a fun thing to add at the end of a workout so you finish feeling fast and fresh and strong and they're also very good for turnover, for muscle strength, that kind of thing. All right, I'm tired. Um, if you guys like this kind of style of video today, let me know in the comments. Oh my God, dude, I sweat so much today. I drank this entire thing at 600 milliliters of fluid. I'm still sweating profusely. And I haven't gone to the bathroom once. This has all been utilized during this workout or sweat onto the track or pretty much just still sitting on my body in my shorts. Uh, I've been trying to marry this channel with my life, my work, my actual running, just trying to make it all, just trying to make it all work together cohesively. So if you guys liked what I did today, let me know. It's um, relatively straightforward for me to make, but. Oh, all right guys, that's it for today. I will, uh, I will see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.